Hello everybody, my name is Kay and welcome to Finance with Kay. So welcome to another segment uh, with Finance with Kay. Like I've said, I am Kay, I am a financial advisor, I am a money management coach and I am a personal finance coach. So let's dive into today's segment. So today I want to talk about one of the worries that a lot of people have. They go like, but Kay, I really want to save. Okay, I just don't have money to save. I don't know where to start. Okay, not I don't know where to start. I think I want to speak more more on not having money to save. Is that true? Um, do I believe that a lot of people do not have money to save? No, I don't. <laughs> I don't. Reason being because I work with clients. I work with people. I get to see people's uh, money situation, and I realize that a lot of people do have money to save. The thing is that they are just mismanaging the money, meaning that they are putting the money on things that are not going to help them while they think that it's helping them. So I want us to dive into that. Maybe I will share three or four things that you can stop doing or uh, that you can start looking at if you want to uh, squeeze out money for you to save. The first one is your bank statement why a bank statement a lot of people they go to the bank and um they sign those contracts of their check accounts and they don't even read the benefits of their check account they don't know the fees that they're paying and because what's happening those fees are very little you know two rent there four rent there five rent there they don't really pay attention at the end of the month those four rents, five rents, ten rents have accumulated to be thousand rents, five hundred rent, and then they would have done some other things um, or chosen a, an account that was going to be way less in terms of first. But because they don't know, sometimes they don't pay attention, sometimes they don't even print out or look at, I mean, online is making things better on their online banking. They just feel like, ah, oh, man, it's fine. But at the end of the day, it's not fine because you can actually take that 500 rand and go and put it in your emergency savings, add it on your investment, whatever investment or savings you have. So first, look at your bank account. Look down and see when you're withdrawing, are they charging you? When you're withdrawing at the other ATM, how much are they charging you? What must you do to eliminate that? Maybe stop withdrawing a lot, start sending money. I know a lot of banks because they, we, they're shifting from paperwork to online uh, most EFTs you know be transferring money online from one bank to another they are normally free or less um, expensive so please have a look go to the bank you are allowed guys I worked in the bank you know um, yeah so you are allowed to go to the bank and sit with the sales consultant there and then ask them there is a service consultant so you can go to a service consultant they will then explain the fees and also go to uh, the online um, in a space of your banking whereby you'll be able to see all the fees because they, they're very transparent they just let you know just that a lot of us we don't read those things so just go and read find out what can you do to minimize fees on your bank statement and then there you can squeeze out money to add on to your savings number two not having a budget for entertainment so a lot of people what they do they as long as they've paid their necessities their full disposable income money that is left after they've paid the expenses they go and splash it on entertainment they go and buy alcohol go to concert go to vacation everything that has to do with entertainment because they feel like you know what I've paid the necessities, it's fine, I can just spend this money. No, you need to have budget for your entertainment. You cannot use your full disposable income without saving, investing, and then just use it on, in, on entertainment. So you need to have a budget. I'm only going to spend uh, 1,000 rand this month when I go out for a restaurant or whatever you do as a form of entertainment because a lot of money is spent on entertainment and people go like, but I don't have money. No, your money is there. You are just chowing your money. Yes. The third one um, is the fact that people can say no. You cannot say no. Somebody comes, um, please give me money. Please give me. We're not Ubud Malisa or Usus Malisa. Everybody comes to you and they need money and you just give out money like there's no tomorrow, like you're Oprah Winfrey. Everybody's getting money. You're getting money. You're getting money. Everybody's getting money. You don't have that backbone of saying no. So when you start saying no, you will then be able to take the money that you were just giving people around 
and you might find out that majority of those people were taking that money for their own entertainment while you are suffering and you know that you don't have an emergency savings so learn to say no help where you can and where you can't you can't you don't have money and then use that money to add on your savings and um the last one um the fourth one mm -hmm, mm -hmm. groceries guys i know groceries are increasing each and every time but there are ways that we can be able to to minimize the money that we spend on groceries so these are the few things that you can do to minimize on your groceries the, the normal one the famous one have a grocery list write your list at home when you know things that are missing don't write it from your head because you might be duplicating certain things and you don't need to you only need one so make sure that you write those things while you're at home when you can physically see your 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 grocery um in cupboard or pantry so that you can be able to see and again do meal prep where you can make sure that you know the ingredients that you're gonna need for all the meals don't just you know sometimes you're on tiktok or you're on social media you see a nice meal and then now you don't even go and check the recipe or you don't go and check the ingredients you just now assume that you're gonna need this and this and that for that meal and then you just buy your grocery based on something that you saw online without having a full list of ingredients so make sure that whatever that you want to try out uh, in terms of your meals write the ingredients that you're gonna need so that you don't end up buying things that you don't need and the other one again stop buying for status if we can stop doing things for status we will have a lot of money so don't go to a certain shop because um you want to take is the aesthetics um the reputation that it has and you also want to take a picture to go and show on social media that happened i can be able to shop here i can be able to shop there don't shop for trends don't shop for status um go and shop in places where you know especially things where they sell in bulk things where they do for wholesalers uh just because it's it does it's not famous or it's not aesthetic pleasing or you know it's not regarded as a place where people go when they are regarded as successful does not mean you should not go there so don't go and buy in places only you can go and buy in such places if you say okay i want quality you know but don't go and just buy for the fact that you want to do a vlog doing a shopping there so that people will also think that you have made it it doesn't matter what people think because at the end of the day the same people that are going to like and comment on your vlog or on your photo that you are shopping in a certain place they won't be there when you don't have an emergency savings or an investment they won't be there when you are okay we don't use the word broke when you do not have money if you go and ask them they won't give you that money and to add on top of that they are strangers why do you care if strangers think that you have made it or not let's stop shopping for status we will then start having money for us to save so yeah those are the few things that i thought i should share normal things things that some of us are doing oh the last one i nearly forgot entertainment again but in a form of subscription like your dstv like your netflix you can live without those things guys remember the needs and wants that we used to do uh, when we were at primary school and high school they're very important they, there's a time or a season where you don't your wants are not really okay you can't afford your wants basically that's what i want to say so you can leave those ones until you can be able to afford them in the later stage so if you know that you don't have an emergency savings you don't have any investment curry when you just pay debt and you buy groceries and then it's done and then at the end of the day you are able to be to pay 300 or 400 for a dstv please rather than upgrade that dstv find other alternative i myself because i don't even have time to watch dstv anymore and i realize that honestly they do repeat a lot of things so it was no longer saving my my want then i decided you know what let me just upgrade i got a 50 rand netflix where i watch on my phone and i also got a show max where i paid 200 rand so which means i've saved about uh 300 rand or four 300 200 to 300 rand every month that i can then put on other things so be honest with yourself you know it's not it does not mean that you're less of a person if you don't have dstv or netflix or whatever at that particular moment if you can afford the package that you're in downgrade downgrading there's no shame in downgrading let's normalize downgrading in everything whether it's a car it's a house let's normalize uh, uh, downgrading instead of us normalizing living in debt it's so sad how we 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 
we shame people who are downgrading but we applaud people who are living in debt so if somebody will rather go and live in debt because if they downgrade you're gonna laugh at them but the one that is not sleeping does not have a peaceful night uh uh king uh what is this ignoring calls because people want their money the banks want the money they can't sleep people that same person is being uploaded outside but somebody who's saying you know what at this particular moment i can't afford this lifestyle i'll rather done great but have peace in terms of me not depending on that that person is shamed no there's no shame in downgrading if you know you cannot afford something downgrade it's not even a sin it's not a sin so yes those are some of the things that i thought i shall share i hope you guys really enjoyed this please do add in the comments certain things that you have done to make sure that you can take that money and go and save so yeah let's uh, continue with the conversation on the comments and again you know in this channel we share the information you share with your family members with your friends with your whatsapp people with your tiktok people wherever you are so that they can also get this educational content thank you so much see you on my next video bye